right, hey, Brad McLeod here, SteelGrinderPT.com. Just uh, having a really great day, just really fired up. Got up early this morning on the right side of the bed and, uh, you know, just just feeling alive, man. And I just wanted to come to you guys today. Uh, really great weekend, a lot of cool things happening, getting the gym going and all that. Of course, I'm fired up for that. But, yeah, just working with several athletes, uh, really psyched to see some of their breakthroughs and uh, just see some of the ideas, uh, questions that are coming over, back over to me, uh, just trying to help them as a coach. And uh, just wanted to kind of touch on a couple of, of items here, just real quick, um, just talking about self-confidence, kind of that inner fire, uh, inner fire in the belly, and then also just sort of like getting results, you know, H how, how can we get results? And um, just want to show you guys here, I've got this, uh, this saying that's uh, here in my gym, um, it says that uh, champions aren't made in the gym. Of course, I've got this posted in my gym, but it's just right next to me, right by the ear dime. It says, champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. Muhammad Ali. And uh, this is just really, a, I think, just a cool, cool saying. It uh, gets me really fired up whenever I hurt deep down inside. I look over and I read that. And, um, you know, I, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm psyched always to be in the gym. I'm a gym rat. I uh, love being in the gym, love being outside, working out too. Um, but really the point out of all that or what I take from it is just that, you know, you really got to cultivate what's deep down inside. You really got to cultivate um, that inner fire. You got to stoke it. You got you to gotta get those... Uh, you know, cut the cut the firewood, get the uh, the oak, the fat wood, and uh, uh, stoke the fire inside of yourself. Um, you know, I'm a coach. Uh, I have a coach. I have a really good coach, and um, but you know, you really got to be your own best coach. Uh, in that, you know, you've got to be the one when you're laying down. Uh, you know, you, you, you got blood in your mouth or whatever. You got to just spit it out. You got to got to get the dirt out of your eyes, and you're the one that's got to get up and get back up on your knees. Yeah, your friends can help you. Yeah, your coach can help you. But in the end, it's going to be you. And you know, tying that all into like say the self confidence issue is that you know we all fight the daily struggle. You know, we all got to get up out of bed. We all got to go brush our teeth. We all got to go. You know, get downstairs and get get on the bus, get in the, the truck and get to work or, you know, whatever. You're out and you're, you're working on a cattle ranch or whatever. You you got to get out there and, you know, it's hot, it's cold, It's there's barbed wire, there's this, there's that, there's obstacles. We all got to fight it. You know, we got screaming kids, we got cell phones, uh, interstate, two, I got interstate 285 I got to deal with, you know. <laughs> Um, we all got to deal with stress and chaos and the obstacles, but, you know, in the end, it comes down to that, you know, we have to make those conscious decisions not to get frustrated, not to get off track, to continue to work to stoke that inner fire. We've got to do it for some of us every minute. We're in buds every hour you've got to keep moving forward keep stepping forward you got to have those micro goals and um, it's just so important that you've got to be your own best coach because you know for some of us the, the the gym is just an hour a day okay what happens the other 23 hours or let's just say the other 16 hours that we're awake okay 15 hours, you've got to be your own best coach and not get distracted, not get frustrated in traffic, not get overloaded when the phone's ringing and kids are screaming and, you know, whatever. That's my point is, you know, we've got to take from the gym and take back to that inner fire inside of ourselves, And that's how we can continue to build that self-confidence is the other 15 hours we can build in the gym Great way to build self-confidence, you know, make, having goals that we're setting, how, you know, whatever, double unders or getting up underneath a big weight, you know, overhead squat or hat, what have you. But it's also those other 15 hours. You know, we can continue to cultivate the mind, work the mind in those 15 hours, especially that last 10 minutes before you go to bed. You know, that's so, so important. And um, 
that we read and we, we work the mind so that we can have that self-confidence, so that we can build on those small micro goals. And, and that's what I would ask uh, for you guys is to go out, pick a small goal uh, today, whether it's uh, I'm not going to get frustrated in traffic or I'm going to do one more double under. Instead of 20 double unders, I'm going to do 21. Or I'm going to lose... Um, yeah, one pound. I'm going to eat good. I'm going to eat paleo. I'm going to eat, you know, lay off the bread, and I'm going to I'm going to tweak my diet, and I'm going to have that one goal. And you know, if you build on those goals every week, you do the tasks that are asked of you. You will have results. You know, some of us say, oh, you know, I did this, I did that. You know, uh, I just didn't get results. Well, you know, did you really? Deep down, do you know that you really paid the price? Deep down, do you know that you did all the homework, you read all the chapters, you did all the extra lifts, you did the extra uh, technical work, the pistols and muscle-ups, what have you? You know that you sat down and you, you avoided bread, you avoided a dessert, uh, or say even you ran the full 10K. If you do all the work, no matter what it is, doesn't matter still grinder, uh, gym or whatever, anywhere. You could be uh, trying out for a local baseball team. If you do the work, hard work pays. You will be, you will be on the team. It's not a matter of luck. Uh, these superstars that are out there, it's not a matter of luck. Michael Jordan, Herschel Walker, these guys, it's not luck. It is thousands of hours of hard work. You just got to decide, are you going to pay the price? You know, I kind of wanted to step over aside a little bit. I had one of the notes I'd written, you know, talking about self-confidence. You know, another way to help cultivate that self-confidence is to speak and think of yourself like you are a champion. Michael Jordan thinks of himself as a champion. He thought that first, and then he became. He didn't just step out into the NBA. He had to slowly build those micro goals and work forward from high school to college uh, to, to the pros. Yes, he's gifted, but he's always thought of himself as a champion. A uh, really great uh, example that I like to use, and it sounds a little cocky, but, but, I, but I still think it has good context, is uh, Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb, uh, one of the greatest shortstops of all time, great, stole more bases than anybody. Super, super aggressive. The guy was as mean as a freaking polecat got thrown in the water. Uh, I mean, this guy was just flat out mean. He used that as a tool. He used that as a weapon. But what he would say to himself, and he would point to the opposing, the, the, to the other team, to the enemy, he would point to them and say, today I will steal from you, meaning he's going to steal a base. Today I will steal from you. He would voice that out loud and point to the other dugout as he sharpened his metal cleats. Back then, you know, they, they could use the metal cleats. Now, what does that say? I mean, is that cocky? Yeah, it's a little bit cocky. Is he sure of himself? Yeah, he's sure of himself. He's telling himself. He's also pointing out that when he says that, you can't back down. You can't back down when you've called out another team and you've said, today I will steal from you. He said that with all the conviction in his heart. And you knew he was going to steal the base. They knew he was going to steal the base. They knew Michael, Th Michael Jordan was going to make the shot. Why? Because he told them, Muhammad Ali told them, I am the greatest. You have to be your own best cheerleader. You can't wait for a coach. You can't be coddled by a coach. You have to step up to the plate. You have to sharpen your metal cleats. You have to throw the free throw. You have to spend the time, the hours, the thousands of hours that Herschel Walker and Michael Jordan spent to get to the pros. You have to pay the price. But if you pay the price, guess what? Hard work pays. It is irrefutable. And that's a fancy word, but that is the way that the world works. 
if you do the hard work, then it will pay. And you will go through buds, you will be in special forces selection, you will make the free throw, and you will be a champion. And man, that's a rant today, if I ever have one, I love it. Like I say, man, I woke up right side of bed, just feeling good. Who knows, I may make another video later on today, I got so fired up. But uh, hey man, it's SilkgrinderPT.com, Brad McLeod, I'm signing off, baby. Woo.